Okay, this lesson is going to be how to solve series circuit problems for electronics. Okay, here's a schematic that shows a 10 volt DC power supply and two resistors in series. With a problem like this, one of the first things it could ask for is to find current, the total current. Uh, another possibility would be that it could ask what the voltage drop across resistor 1 is and the voltage drop across resistor 2. Could ask for the current flowing through resistor 1 and resistor 2. And of course you would need to find the resistance total. And with a series circuit the resistance total is just going to be all the resistors added up together. So resistor 1 plus resistor 2. If there were more resistors you just add them up as well. So for our example this is going to be 470 ohms plus 1,300 ohms for a total of 1,770 ohms or 1.77 K ohms. Once we know the resistance total we can calculate the current total because we also know the voltage. And to do that we're going to use Ohm's law. Ohm's law remember is voltage is equal to current times resistance and it tells us what to do if we need to find any of those values. Since we know the voltage and we know the resistance we're looking for the current. So that's voltage divided by resistance. Or in our case it's going to be 10 volts divided by 1770 ohms which is going to equal 5.65 milliamps. Since there's only one pathway for current to flow through the circuit, all the current has to flow through the first resistor and through the second resistor and back to the supply. So the current 1 is also 5.65 milliamps and also the current flowing through resistor 2 is 5.65 milliamps. Now the voltage drops across resistor 1 and 2 are going to be different because some of the voltage is used up pushing current through the first resistor and the rest of the voltage is used up pushing the current through the second resistor. So of course now that we know the current through resistor 1 and the, vo and the resistance we can use Ohm's law to calculate the voltage which again voltage is going to be current times or 470 ohms times 5.65 milliamps which is 2.66 volts. We use the same calculation for voltage drop on resistor number 2 except it's going to be 1300 ohms times 5.65 milliamps which gives us or 7.35 volts. Another way you could have done it is say 10 volts is the total subtract the 2.66 for resistor 1 voltage and that would give us the, the remainder. Now it might be a little off depending on the rounding that we used for our digits. That's how you solve a series circuit problem.